Hey guys, I'm CJ. Welcome back to the channel. So I apologize for not posting regularly or I'm not really on my normal posting schedule. Honestly, I really haven't had a lot of motivation for YouTube right now. I've become a little bit disenchanted with YouTube. So it's not really to do with the whole beauty community drama bullshit. I don't care about that. I have 4,000 subscribers. It doesn't affect me. I'm not in the realm of those people. It's whatever. I just, I don't know. It's kind of everything. It, the views, algorithms, interactions with people, it's just not been super motivating and I haven't really wanted to come down, sit down and film anything. So, yeah, that is what it is. But something I am excited to share with you guys is the September Art Organics Clean and Beauty Box. I really do enjoy getting these and I usually really love at least one of the products or all the products or I at least find a use for them. So September box theme is Embrace, and the cover sleeve looks like this. So if you're not familiar with Art Organics, each and every month the art for the box and the pamphlet is different. It's by a different special artist. I think it's really fun to just see different art and different things on the boxes. So if you haven't seen this month's box, you haven't seen the reveal or anything yet, the themes for September is Embrace. This month we received two products. One was from a brand that I have absolutely no experience with, and the other is from a brand that I really have had very poor experiences with. So let's go ahead and open this up. Of course, before we get started with the video, if you like the Art of Organics, subscribe boxes if you like the subscription box videos then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and you might as well subscribe to the channel as well I of course will link all of the other Art of Organics videos and products in my socials and everything in the description bar down below so you might as well click that check it out check out Instagram check out Art of Organics everything else do the most do the works maybe like multitask watch me do some things whatever works for you honestly Let's just get into the video. So here we go, we're gonna open it. Looks like this, you open the box and you have your little pamphlet on the inside. So this pamphlet is honestly everything you need to know about the products, how to use them, all this special information. And it also lists a little story about the art artist, the creator, what the art is, and all you need to know about that. And then on the back, on the back they have their socials and little tidbits of information. So the first product we have is from the brand that I have zero experience with, and that is Wabi Sabi. We received the Age Gracefully Targeted Treatment Serum. The serum is 0.34 ounces or 10 milliliters, and it retails for $54. This is a very simple three oil oil serum. They're calling it an oil serum. This brand really focuses on five main things that they focus on. I can't remember all of them, but I do remember it was like sustainability, bioavailability, purity, potency, something like that. Very, They're really focused on sustainability and you see that throughout their brand. This is a brand that actually through using this product I've become quite interested in and I'd be really curious about trying more or looking more into their products. So the outside packaging looks like this. It's very pretty, black with gold and the world's smallest writing, but we don't. We don't care about that because we have all the information we need in the pamphlet. And the bottle itself looks like this, white with the same gold writing on it. Very beautiful. I like it came in a pump and it's a very, just nice glass packaging. So let's get into the actual product. This contains organic cacao seed oil, which is apparently the most sustainable or one of the most sustainable oils on the planet. It's also supposed to be three times more powerful than rosehip seed oil and that comes from the very high content of vitamin A. So vitamin A, vitamin A we know is a great anti-aging vitamin, it's our retinols, or it's a natural form of retinol. So this has three times more of the vitamin A in it than rosehip seed oil, and rosehip seed oil is an ingredient that so many people really, really believe in for those anti-aging benefits. So this is gonna give you that retinol alternative in a more powerful form. So that's gonna give you a lot of the cellular turnover, it could be very skin stimulating, collagen stimulating, it's a nice oil to see in the blend. The second oil that they have is organic acai fruit oil, and it has incredibly high levels of chlorophyll, and it's supposed to help bring oxygen to the skin and give you really nice antioxidant plumping qualities. And then the third ingredient, which is one that I don't see too often at all, is organic green coffee oil, which is also supposed to be a very powerful antioxidant. So very nice oils, super simple, really straightforward, and they give you a bunch of different ways that you can use it. Of course, you could use it around your eyes as an eye treatment, you can use it mixed in with other moisturizers, you can use it at, on its own, or you can even mix it in with mineral foundation to kind of create your own liquid cream foundation. I found it worked best for me, just used neat on its own and used under eye with the excess. So let's go ahead and give you a little look, see what it looks like. 
This is a nice medium weight oil. I think it's a great weight oil for this summer transitioning into fall time. We need a little bit more heft to our products. I know that through the summer I use basically just really light hydrating ingredients, really high, light hydrating products, and I don't use too much oil or moisturizer. But as we transition, as the air starts to get a little bit drier and we get a little bit colder, this is going to be a really nice product because it is that more of a medium weight oil. So it looks like this. You can see that it does run, but it's not the runniest oil, so it's not super runny like jojoba, but it's not one of the really, really thicker oils either. So it looks like this has a really beautiful green gold color, and if you want to get a really in-depth scent profile, I would head over to Trish, Green Beauty Trish's YouTube video. She gave a beautiful description. However, to me, the scent is pretty straightforward. It just smells very peppery. It just smells like a peppery oil. That's about as in-depth as I could get it. I really did like this though. They, of course, say that it's going to help with fine lines and wrinkles and antioxidants and whatnot. I haven't used it long enough to really see long-term benefits, but I did find that it was a nice moisturizing oil. I could use it both morning and night, and my skin felt really, really great. It absorbs nicely. It doesn't sink right into the skin, but it doesn't just sit and stay greasy on the skin like a heavy oil would. I'm curious to see what this looks like in the long term, since it does have such a high concentration of the vitamin A. I really do like this product, I like the brand, and I'm curious to learn more about them. So, like I said, this is a nice, really nice oil. I think that pretty much all skin types could get along with it. The oils worked really well with my skin, didn't break out, my skin looked quite nice looked very moisturized, luminous, and I really did like it. You could use it morning or night, and I think that there really would be... I think anybody could get along with it, especially because of that content of vitamin A, it would help with acne, because vitamin A or retinol does help with acne breakouts, as well as it helps with fine lines and wrinkles. Now, the second product is from Audacite, and I really haven't had that great of experience with them. I've used their Synergy 4 mask. It was less than impressive. I've used some of their little serum booster oil things, and those have been fine. So this product is the Adventuring Kiss Lip Serum. It contains vitamin C and CoQ10. This is two milliliters, and it retails for $44. And it's basically just a oil serum for your lips. It does come with a little Adventuring Rollerball, which apparently is a gemstone that brings good luck. You guys know. I don't know anything, and I'm not really into the whole gemstone thing. But if you are, that's awesome. It is a nice addition, I guess, and it is very pretty, actually. It's kind of like a jade emerald green color. So this has a bunch of ingredients. It's quite opposite from the Wabi Sabi product, where that one has three. This one has about 50 different ingredients. So main ingredients in this one, baobab seed oil, moringa seed oil, jojoba, and it has a bunch of other oils, and then it does have some water and essential oils and glycerin. So it's it reads like it would be something that would be quite light and moisturizing, but it, it's kind of strange. This also does have mint and capsicum, so that's supposed to provide a tingling plumping effect to the lip. It's supposed to be basically a natural lip plumper. There are a bunch of those on the market. This would be a natural lip plumper. And then it's supposed to also have CoQ10 and vitamin C for great antioxidant support. As far as the lip plumping effects go. It is mildly plumping, I guess. You do feel a little bit of a tingle. Um, nothing to really write home about. I don't really care about the lip plumping properties. I really care more about the hydrating, moisturizing properties. As funny as it is to say, I don't have a lot of luck with natural lip balms or lip oils or lip serums. I find that they're usually not enough, or I find that the oil just kind of sits on top of my lip. So I was hoping with the water-based ingredients in here that this was going to be a little bit better for me, but it was just kind of mildly hydrating. I still did have to go in with a lip mask or a lip balm over the top of it. So it's not really enough to just use on its own. Uh, lip plumping properties, like I said, mildly there. It's not going to be a lip filler in a bottle. It It's just kind of something. And I don't really know how I feel about the rollerball application. Kind of strange. I don't, I still don't really know how I feel about rollerballs in general. I kind of don't like them. So I think this is quite expensive for what it is. Because it's not that hydrating, because it's not that moisturizing, it's not as restored, restoring as they say it is. So I really, it's just a fine product. It's not bad. It's not great. It just kind of 
is, I will say I like the ingredients, there are very nice ingredients in here, it just didn't do much for me. So that's that one. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have used that and what your experience is. I think some people have really liked it, I know Trish kind of was in the same position I'm in. So yeah, it just, it's fine, super expensive for what little bit of product you get, so yeah. But that's it for this video guys, let me know what do you think about this month's box. Don't forget you can subscribe to Art of Organics, it's $39 per month with a minimum two month subscription and I think they have some other subscription months as well, two months, six months, something like that. But this is a $98 value so you definitely get more than your money's worth with this box. And yeah, I think all in all it's a pretty good box. I really like the Wabi Sabi Serum, Odacite, it is what it is. And I can't wait to see what we get next month. So that's all for this video guys. Let me know what you think about this box. Let me know if you're going to be picking it up. And yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.